Hey guys, today we're going to go over some do's and don'ts in drawing a lounge chair. Sometimes I get things like this from students and I'm going to show you um, some tips on how to make it a little bit more realistic. First off, we have some pencils, some, do, some B pencils, erasers, uh, paper stomp, and a, a pencil sharpener. So first thing you're going to do is ask yourself what type of form is it. Um, the basic forms we have or cube, cylinder, cone, and sphere. Most chairs start with a cube-like form, so I'm going to go ahead and draw a cube here. And so once you have that, you're going to take a look and, and, and look at your picture reference and then kind of see if the legs are straight up and down or do they kind of flare out a little bit. So you're looking at your negative space. You're also going to be looking at how much of the seat top do you see. Um, in that little image that we have of a student um, drawing, a lot of times people will try to draw the seat as a square or a rectangle, but it looks like you are you could slide down. You couldn't actually sit on there. Like you're taking a Superman view above the chair. So you really wanted to see how much of the seat you actually do see. And then you're going to go on and think about the negative space in your reference. So as a beginner student, you always want to start off with some reference images. Practice drawing these chairs, and then that way you can start turning it around in space in your mind so that you can draw them in a room. Um, but first you're going to start off using a reference image until you get more comfortable with drawing each of these forms. So as you draw, you're going to look at the positive and negative space. So positive space is what you see. The negative space is the space in between. Um, so that would be the negative space between the legs, between the armchair and the seat, um, the back and the seat. So that that's would be the negative space. So a lot of times people, when they're drawing, they can get the positive space because you can see um, the... Uh, the don't image shows four legs, so the chair's four legs, but it doesn't look correct because they haven't looked at the negative space. So now I'm looking at the image and seeing, okay, I need to lower the seat because I need a little bit more negative space between the seat top and the arms. So I'm going to raise that up a little bit, make sure it's all in, in line. Now, when I sketch, I use a B pencil because it's a softer pencil. A lot of times my lines become part of the shading. So right now it looks really messy, and but it's just a, a quick sketch, so it's not supposed to be super clean. And right now I'm checking the alignment. So I'll look at the alignment and see, okay, if it's a straight line, how much do you see to the right and left of that straight line? So you want to do that with your picture. You also want to see okay, what kind of leg do you have. Does it taper? Does it flare? Um, is it a cylinder? Is it um, wood? Is it metal? So you're going to show the depth of the leg as well. So that would be three lines instead of the two. So the two for the don't image, they just have two. So that's just showing the front view of the leg rather than the side view. So when you're doing a chair in perspective, you're going to see both the front and a side part of it. And so that gives you a sense of depth. You're going to also check to see if this back has an angle. Now, a lot of times what I see students do is um, they make the back of the chair straight up and down instead of looking to see if there is a slope to it, an angle to it so that when you're sitting in the chair, you're more relaxed than if you are sitting really upright.
now before you go on you have to make sure that um, your legs are that you've observed which leg comes down the most which comes down the least so that there is some sense of perspective to this chair so once you double check your neck of space and making sure you have all the components and your back is angled your legs are the correct way you're going to start showing um, do some shading so that you can show some volume so here is some hatching so that i can start um, giving this chair a sense of depth and this also has an added bonus of hiding all my um, sketch lines so that all those lines that were my oopsie doopsie lines that kind of go away when you start to shade it and then you just erase in between uh, the negative space if you if you want to. So this shading right here with hatching lines, um, it'll give my chair a sense of volume. So you can do simple hatching if you want. If you want to have more detail and you want to use a paper stump, you can do that. And then you kind of look at your reference image and see where is it dark, where is it light, where is it medium, and that gives you um, more more volume. So here's a paper stump, so I'm going to take this paper stump, kind of smudge it around because it's a 6B pencil that I'm using, so it's a soft lead. So I can take that paper stump and make some of my area a little bit more smooth. Then I can also use that paper stump to cast a little shadow underneath my chair so I can anchor it with a little shadow so it's not floating in outer space. And then I can erase any of my extra lines with some eraser. With an eraser, if I, if I want to clean it up a little bit, uh, I might sharpen my pencil and define areas that are a little bit darker so it really looks um, more three-dimensional, like where my corners would be. So I can have corners, instead of drawing a hard line, I might do one side being light and another side being medium and the top side being um, light or sorry light on the top medium on the side and a little bit darker on the shadow side and this is it this is how i would go about drawing a chair to make it look a little bit more three-dimensional um, so again it is what is the base form observe how much of the seat is if is, is is visible how which leg comes down further in the picture plane you're going to look at the positive and negative space you're going to look at the alignment like if you lay down a pencil and you look okay what's on the right side what's on the left side you're going to look at um, the leg shape there's so many leg shapes that you could draw you're going to show depth of the leg you're going to check the angle for the back you're going to shade to show volume and then anchor with a shadow. So I hope that helps you.